Hey guys, T2RX6 here, back for another Transformers review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the uh, cold um, blue convoy, which is just a knockoff of the classics Optimus Prime in a powered convoy type color scheme. Um, I have no clue what cold actually stands for. If someone knows, let me know. This is the box it comes in. It's a pretty nice box. Um, got that holographic type coloring here. Um, inside would be where convoy and all his weapons are stored. And then you do have a bio if you want to read it. You can just kind of pause it here for a second. And it does show all his stats and everything like that. Um, there are some Velcro tabs at the top here, but they're not stuck down. So uh, they just kind of come off as opposed to letting the Velcro work properly. Uh, sides of the box, just the, another picture that you saw on the front. The back shows mid-transformation and nothing terribly interesting. You do have one of the outlined Optimus Prime images. So, I was asked to do a review of this guy because I know some people uh, have thought about picking him up and just kind of wanted to see the, pro the quality. So here he is. And overall, he's not bad. He's exactly the same size as a regular uh, Optimus Prime. Now, when I got this, <clears throat> sorry, when I got this guy, I had some problems with him. Namely, this whole, this left arm piece right here was actually the wrong one. It was this one put in backwards somehow. Um, or no, I'm sorry, upside down. So. He took this and you flip it upside down and put it here and that's what you had. So he couldn't transform into his truck mode. I actually had to get in contact with KO Toys and then they sent me a replacement piece here. Which isn't too bad. Um, after that was taken care of, he was a lot better. Now, the guns on the back, he still has the gun smoke stacks like Optimus Prime has. They don't like to peg in too terribly well. Um, you're going to have to probably add some like nail polish here. That's how I did it to tighten these up so they actually peg in better. But it's still his standard gun where you can, if I had fingernails, rotate this stuff down. And then rotate the stock out. It will clip together. This is probably the weakest accessory though on this particular prime. Um, you can see the back hasn't actually pegged together even though there's a peg there for it. Um, with a lot of force it kind of pegs in but there's still a, a visible gap there. So this is probably his worst accessory uh, that didn't translate so well when it got knocked off. Uh, at the top of the truck of course is the wind vane and that comes off and that still makes up his gun. It's real loose compared to the regular Optimus Prime but it still works, everything pegs together, flips over, and the gun flips out. So while the top pieces are a little bit loose, it works completely fine. So now we have the powered convoy mold itself. And again, it's a straight knockoff, so it's just the same as Optimus Prime. So you just flip these open, and these are a little bit loose. Let me pull back here and up so we can get a better shot. And not much you can do about it. They're not as tight as um, a regular Optimus, but it's not too bad. Uh, feet come out. Drop the legs like that. And you open up the front of the truck. And then all this stuff is really loose compared to um, a real version of it. But it's workable it's not it's not unmanageably loose so anyway take all this stuff put his arms up like that and rotate on around so you have the chest and the fake uh, grill and then just rotate this bumper on in and then you can take Optimus's head and pull that out so this stuff can all sit properly on his back And now you got big mess. And we take his arms to just kind of unfold everything. And 
wrap this around and it this stuff is so loose to work with that it's real easy but it does clip into place except for this piece as you can see is pretty loose but what can you do there and flip everything again and there you go you got the powered convoy version of Optimus Prime now as you can see the worst part is probably these panels and how they flop around um, neither of them are held very well uh, mine also had a leg problem previously where um, his joints inside here were way too flexible on both the knee and this joint so he really didn't like standing when I first got him so if you're gonna get him you have to be willing to take him apart because there's gonna be things that you can definitely improve upon by taking it apart oops I forgot his knee things yeah so there's definitely things that can be improved upon by taking them apart um, to make them stand better to make this not flop in and out you can still see it's loose but it was so loose that you know if you wanted to pose them in any way this would just slide that way and you'd fall over this one wasn't this this right one's not bad at all and I can barely get it to move there we go actually I bet you that my nail polish just seized in there because I haven't moved it that much so you can see he's he's not perfect he's not you know he's definitely not a Hasbro version you can tell this is such an annoying little piece um, here he is next to the actual Optimus Prime and you can see they're very similar um, let's see if I can get a view of his head here okay so here I have a close-up of his head for you guys to show you a little better and uh, he has painted eyes but he does have red light piping on the back here um, one thing that I wanted to show you this for um, is that the head hasn't really come out of the mold a hundred percent the the faceplate is definitely lacking definition when you compare it to um, an actual one you can see there's just a much better look on the face so he's definitely lost some definition in his face um, so that's a good way to determine uh, the window here also is not painted uh, unlike the regular one which does have a painted window so that's just kind of some things to look out for should they ever do a uh, knockoff of the actual Optimus Prime colors so would I recommend this guy um, with this thing, I don't know, it's pretty darn annoying. Uh, it's a good question if I would recommend it or not. He's not a bad version, he's, he's okay. Um, if you're trying to make him your Optimus Prime, I don't know about that. He will accept the, uh, City Commander armors and stuff. Um, I actually have the knockoff Powered Commander armor for this guy and it works mostly pretty well there's a couple things that need to be fixed a little but I think that's just knockoff on knockoff but the regular armors um, the real released ones work a little bit better um, so he's not bad but if you can find a classics Optimus Prime like a real one for the price to go for it there's really no reason to have a blue Optimus Prime unless you're a fan of the powered convoy type thing um, yeah so he's not too bad he's okay just not fantastic with these things so anyway this is T2RX6 I hope you guys enjoyed the review and I will see you next time